Never take anything to grant it, for granted to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Hornell from here with Supersize Your Business. And our idiom today, our expression is, never take anything for granted. This, of course, is an expression that comes from the 1600s. As early as the 1620s, it took on its current meaning, its kind of negative connotation. That means that we expect something or someone to uh, always be available to serve us in some way without any thanks or recognition or to value something too lightly, to assume, to take for granted. I guess to take for granted is a, is a good way of describing it to me. Now, uh, it used to mean in the 1600s to consider something was true without requiring any proof. You just assumed it was true. You know, it's to assume something is true, real, uh, unquestionable, or to be expected. Kind of sounds like the media these days, right? Boy, if you're assuming that the media is true, either social media or television or news programs or online things, or what politicians say, or what other people say and do is just automatically true, you are in for a rude, rude awakening. Uh, I love this idiom. I love this expression because it reminds us to, number one, appreciate and be grateful for the things that are working in our life and to not take people for granted. How many of us have not either taken someone or something for granted at some time in our life? When we're kids, we're growing up, we just assume our parents are always going to love and take care of us and provide for us and be there to love us no matter what happens or what we do. But a lot of people have found that that isn't true. You can't assume that your parents are always going to be there always able to support you because they're human too and <laughs> always there for you. My father passed away six going on seven years ago now, but I, I am guilty of assuming that he would be there for the, the vast majority of my life. And I was in for a little bit of a rude awakening when he, when he passed away. He passed away in a relatively short amount of time of uh, brain cancer. And I was, I was definitely not prepared. Well, how often do we take people in our lives for granted, either with respect to and in our businesses, and we assume they're just going to always be a part of our business, the business that we're growing and supersizing, and even though the business is growing and morphing and changing, we just assume, hey, they've been with us since the beginning, they're going to stay with us forever. Yet, a better opportunity comes along for them, or a chance to go out and do something on their own that's better for them, and they go out and they do that. They take advantage of that. And you feel like you're left holding the bag because you hadn't planned on them ever leaving you. People leave us all the time. Our relationships end. What if we take our health for granted? I'm guilty of that one too. I've took my health for granted for a couple of decades. And of course, my health didn't like that. And it gave me a huge wake up call via a sudden cardiac arrest. So what we take for granted, what we assume, what we ignore, will get our attention if it's important for us in our life and our business something will happen to get our attention i think covid as as bad as that seems to so many people gave millions of business owners a huge wake-up call and on the other side of that wake-up call was the opportunity to say is this what i want to be doing is this the right business for me should i keep doing this and in a lot of instances people said no this isn't the right opportunity for me this isn't the right business if it can just be shut down overnight Either I need to change this business dramatically so that that doesn't affect me in the future, or I'm not in the right business. I want to do something different. So it's an opportunity. On the other side of every coin, you know, there's always two sides to every coin. On one side, there's the negative. On the other side, there's the positive. And we define what's negative and what's positive. I like this because this reminds me never to assume. And I like the, the, uh, the definition of assume that says never assume because you make an ass out of you and me. I think it's a great way to remember that when we're assuming something, we're not doing our homework, we're not asking questions, we're not digging, we're not figuring out if something is true or right or honest or not, or if it matches what it is that we're trying to do with our business. We're just going with the, the program and we might be going with the wrong program. We have to ask questions. I also like to remember that what we don't appreciate depreciates. If we don't you know, it's like what we don't, what we measure matters, what we don't appreciate or be thankful for, it goes away, it disappears, it dissipates. If we don't appreciate our health if we, and if we don't do things to maintain our health, it goes away. If we don't appreciate our customers, for example, geez, talk about a good one. <coughs> <coughs> to assume that our customers will always trust us and be loyal, 
<clears throat> is probably the road to folly because there's so many more opportunities and every day there are more opportunities for our customers to solve their problems coming up into the world all the time if we're not paying attention to our customers what they value what's important to them listening to them appreciating them giving them a great experience whenever they interact with us guess what they'll go find somebody else that will because there's always going to be someone else that will serve them if we don't serve them in the way that they feel that they deserve to be treated so if we take our customers for granted if we take our employees for granted if we take ourselves for granted in terms of our health and our well-being if we take our relationships for granted those things will tend to disappear or depreciate so we get what we give in the world and that's true of growing and building and supersizing our businesses what we put out into the world is what we give back so if we put out trust and respect and kindness and great value an incredible customer experience uh, courtesy uh, honesty integrity those are the things we get back. If we put out great value, we'll get great value back into our business. And that's how we grow and supersize our businesses, by providing great value. Uh, everything changes over time. There's no guarantees. There's no guarantee of anything or anyone in our businesses or in our lives. The only thing that's guaranteed is that we are the common denominator. The only thing we can affect and change is ourselves. So. One of the best ways to do that is to be thankful for the things that are in our life, be grateful for them, appreciate them, make sure we're acknowledging people that are a part of our organization so that they want to continue to be a part of our organization. Make sure we're acknowledging our efforts and ourselves so that we want to continue to be a part of growing and supersizing our own businesses. So I would love to know how you have interacted with this particular idiom. How have you taking yourself or other people for granted. You don't have to share that in the comments below, but think about it today. And then think about a couple of ways that you can acknowledge other people, thank other people, be grateful for other people. Uh, maybe you start some kind of an, an internal system of acknowledging people. Maybe you automatically just thank people in your business on a, a regular and random basis. Maybe you send thank you notes, maybe you send little surprise thank you gifts, whatever fits and works for you, your personality, your business, but remember to do something to appreciate and never take people for granted, especially people, because things we can take for granted because we can always replace things. You know, if you don't put gas in your car, or if you don't change the oil in your car because you're taking it for granted, at some point your car is gonna stop running and you'll just get another car. It's not that easy with people, right? All right, have an awesome day. Love to know your experience with this idiom. I will be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? How can you use it or might you choose to use it in your business and in your life as we're growing and supersizing and building our businesses together always to make the world a better place. All right, have a great day. I'll be with you tomorrow.